Acts 27, verses 21 to 26. After they had gone a long time without food, Paul stood up before them and said, Men, you should have taken my advice not to sail from Crete. Then you would have spared yourselves this damage and loss. But now I urge you to keep up your courage, because not one of you will be lost. Only the ship will be destroyed. Last night an angel of the God to whom I belong and whom I serve stood beside me and said, Do not be afraid, Paul. You must stand trial before Caesar, and God has graciously given you the lives of all who sail with you. So keep up your courage, men, for I have faith in God that it will happen just as he told me. Nevertheless, we must run aground on some island. In your walk with Christ, there will be times where you know for a fact God told you something, but God doesn't always tell you how to get there. God's going to tell you point B, but he's not always going to tell you how to get from point A to point B. And somewhere in the middle, you're going to end up looking at the situation and thinking, how am I going to get there, God? But that's when the enemy comes and tries to plant doubt in you, just like he did with Adam and Eve. Did God really say that? But we need to remember in those moments the God we serve, because God's ways are so much greater than ours. And in the moment, we're going to think, God, I don't, I don't get this. I don't understand it. But still, anything that happens, God allows it, and God always allows it for a reason. 